Hey there, y'all. Disney D. Prince here today with another Barbie unboxing. Today, we have got the new for quarter 2023 Barbie Fashion Boutique unboxing. As you can see, we have got a very cute doll who is not a standard Millie, who is in fact a curvy doll here in this playset, sporting an adorable polka dot dress, which we love. In addition to that, she has got some furniture packs built into her, very similar to the bedroom set that we saw earlier this month. Now, she has got much more of a fashion pack vibe, which I love because she has got three additional pairs of shoes, she has got two additional outfits, and she has got a lot of accessories to choose from. So we are going to take a look at her because she retails for $30. I picked her up from my local Target the other day, and I was worried this was going to be an online exclusive because I hadn't seen her around the same time that the other dolls that were released along this time came out, like the pink swimsuit Barbie. So we're going to take a look and see everything that comes in there. So as you can see, we've got very cute packaging. And we've got everything over here. She's got 25 pieces. I love that she's got a clothing rack. I love the couch that's built into this set. And I love that we've got a nice, pretty uh, dress form. Because the last couple that we've gotten have been like the um, color reveal party one where they've been hollow in the back. Now, I'm hoping that's not the case with this set because it looks so cute. It's even got the, the nice um, feet on it. It's not just a circular base or anything like that. And she's so cute. So fingers crossed, I've got a great color match for her. But if not, we are going to find the closest match. So here is her UPC, in case you're trying to find her, and her item number. And we are gonna pop her open. so we can get her out of her plastic and really get a good look at her. There she is right there, looking very cute. We can see she has got four pairs of shoes total. She has got three bags. She has got three hangers. She has got two necklaces, two bracelets, a ring, a pair of glasses, the earrings that she's wearing, another pair of glasses on her head, a little mirror that we saw in the Barbie Extra Vanity, and the basically the contents of the living room set minus the TV and TV stand. So, very cute. There's a lot going on with this set. And we are going to get into that right now. Now, here is our Barbie. Ugh, they let me down. The back is <sighs> woefully not solid. Oh well. It's still cuter than the ones we've gotten recently. And I actually really like the stress. It's fun, it's a little bit distorting. Uh, but I don't know how very often I would style this on a doll, just because eh, I'm not a huge fan of um, checkers. But this is still my favorite of the Barbie mannequins, and I am looking forward to using that in some of my sets. Now we've also got the sofa. Very cute. It is open in the back, so you can't really do a lot with that um, unless it is posed towards the front, but still really cute. 
They do this to keep the weight down for shipping purposes, which is fine, I understand it, but it always makes me just a little sad <laughs> when I see that. And we've got our furniture, or not our furniture, our clothing rack right here. Very cute. The wheels do not spin, but that's okay. Um, the poles don't extend, but that's okay. Um, my favorite furniture rack, my favorite fashion racks are the ones from the Rainbow High closets. Uh, those are great, but those are also more expensive. So, very cute. Now, everything else we have to pretty much peel off, except for the doll. So, we are going to get into that. But, let's move some of this stuff back first. We've got the beginnings of a very nice fashion boutique. I wish they would give us some more cabinets, like jewelry cabinets, like we got back in the day. Ooh. But that's all right. Okay. Oh, she is so cute. She's got green eyes. We love that. I love it. It's a true halter. Like, that is adorable. We've seen these boots before, but that's okay. I love her. She has kind of a honey blonde. Almost a... Uh, almost a reddish tinge to it in the light here in my studio. But I love this face. I feel... I think she's a daisy. She's a 2015, um, but I can't remember if she's a daisy or not. And then we've got a nice little denim skirt. Um, hopefully that'll look good on the doll. We'll check it out in a bit. We don't have any way to hang that, unfortunately, except for, like, sticking it over the top of the, um, sticking it over the top of the doll, or the hanger, top of the hanger, that's the word I was looking for, but very cute. We've got this very cute pink and yellow and white, um, tank top. We love those color combos. It's giving a summer ice cream vibe. We love that. Um, we've got a secondary layer of plastic that was holding everything in there. Very cute little yellow purse. Not bad. We've got another one of these hats in a natural fiber tone, which is okay. We've got two more of our um, of our hangers in gold with the little Barbie heads on them. Very cute. We love that. It's got the right vibe in that pearl gold. We've got a nice hot pink purse. A little baby blue clutch bag. We've got the teeny tiny glasses in a transparent pink, so we could use those. I wouldn't really style a doll with that, but it's fine. We have one of the elusive doll rings. We don't see these very often because doing doll rings is a little bit harder unless you go the route of actually punching the hole in the hand and doing like an earring. These go over like the whole hand so it is a little obnoxious to look at but still fun and then we've got our last bits 
over on this side, which I'm actually going to just take those right out of the way so we can look at them individually. Got a nice little table in hot pink that's got eight spots to put things. So it's great for drinks and things like that. We've got a nice hollow ottoman to stick right there under her feet. We have got a nice pair of pumps for our curvies. So that's great. We get three pairs of curvy shoes. We've got a different pair of pumps with a little kitten heel and some chains. We love that. Again, there's the Barbie head. This is gonna work for our curvy and our tall girls. We've got these cute little mules with like some studs here on the bottom. Again, a nice head. Sometimes they give us doll shoes that have the B on them. Also, we've got a nice little chain bracelet. I'm gonna put that on the table. We've got a nice pearl gold floral necklace. It's not bad. A nice pale blue bracelet. A simple strand of pearls. We love that. And they're actually in that pearlescent white. We've got a nice little perfume bottle. Not bad, but we've got better perfume and makeup from the Real Fashion Minis. But there is the little lipstick. And then we've got a little mirror, as you can see right there, with a Barbie on the back. So it's very cute. We love all the things that come in there. But now the real question is going to be, what shade is she? Because I am not entirely sure. She looks kind of tricky, honestly. Um, I thought she was going to be a pale white, like the original curvy floral top or floral bottom like this is what she what I thought she looked like and I'm not wrong I think this is going to wind up being her closest but she's actually a little paler than that now if you can see they have roughly the same tone of hair um, but I love this face she's so cute so this will probably wind up being the doll that we use. But I want to just kind of compare her to some of our other dolls that we've got. So here is our purple top made to move. Again, she's a little bit paler. I think she might actually be a Victoria tone. Here is our tall girl. Again, about the same as those. Our other curvy option would be the Kira tone, which I thought she was going to be, but she is not. Kira would be much, um, <sighs> much tanner. So I'm glad I had one of those in stock. So let's try her against the new tennis player tone. So we've got our new tennis player. This is the Victoria Town. No, no, okay. So she's a little bit tanner than the Victoria Town. So that's good. So she's probably going to be a really good match for Andra, which is the Barbie Look Series 1 with the blonde undercut. But if I'm going to keep her curvy, it's gonna have to be this one right here that we've got already with our flower bottoms. And again, if you wanna make her original size, go with this one. If you wanna make her tall, go with the Looks uh, Mattel Creations exclusive. Now, because we wanna keep her curvy, because we love our curvy girls, we are going to use this one. She is more expensive to find nowadays. So we do have to be careful with her body and who we want to put it with that. If I didn't love this face as much as I did, I would pass on putting her on a curvy body and just stick her on a purple made-to-move top.
and call it good. But because I love her and I love the fashions that she comes with, she's staying Kirby. So I am going to get this body ready. I do that off screen now because it gives people anxiety. But I have noticed that some of my older dolls are starting to get little fractures right here. Um, and that's talking like the purple top made to move and the blue made to move top and the yellow made to move top have all kind of started getting um, these stress fractures when I pull too hard to take the head off, even once the head is soft. So just an FYI, I think that plastic is nearing the end of its full um, abilities. Now we've got a nice soft head right here and we don't really care about her original body so much. So we're going to do that to save us some time. We're going to, uh, we are going to take our doll and we're going to put it directly onto our new body. Cause it's a little bit easier to do this without hair in the way. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to just tie it up. Sometimes my big fingers get in the way. Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna put her back on her new body, just like that to get her looking good. And now she is a made-to-move baddie. So she can sit in a chair properly. So, very easy. And I love this fashion. Um, let's show how the shoes fit. So we've got our mules that fit like that, our pumps that fit like that, and our little kitten heels that would fit like this. Now this is the reason I love a made-to-move body and not just an articulated body because they have the articulated ankles on a made-to-move doll compared to just an articulated body that only has articulation at the knees, elbows, and wrist. So, she's very cute. I love her. Um, we're going to put her entire original outfit back on. Okay. We're going to set her right there. Maybe give her one of these she's got pink earrings on which is kind of fun 
but it does not match either of the pinks that came with her shoes, so I'm gonna stick with the blue and the white from her dress. Um, I might take these off. Let's see if they're hooked or not. Okay, so those are hooked, and that's fine. We just have to pry them out with the pliers after we heat the head. Um, I'm gonna take this off because we don't need it. And we're gonna take her head and get that out. Now, if you notice, she has kind of a very mobile head. That's okay, I like that in a doll. But we got one more little staple back here. There we go, the whole thing out that time. Nice. So she's very cute. I like her dress. It is a little short when she sits. But she's really cute. And we love that. I'm not a huge fan of this hat. Just because it doesn't tend to look as good on the doll as you think it's going to. Uh, if your doll has any sort of textured hair, it's going to pop right off. Um, but other than that, it looks really cute. All three of the purses are bricks that I wouldn't bother with. Um, the glasses, at least, are both transparent, which we love that. Um, so all of the jewelry pieces are great. The shoes are all great, which I love. Not a huge fan of the skirt, just because it doesn't really look like denim. It looks more like a cloudy sky. Um, but it's still cute. I do like this dress, but not as much as I wanted to like it. I do love the way the dress form looks because it actually looks like a vintage dress form. Um, so I'll definitely be using that. We put our other dress on this cute little hanger and that way we can do it like that. So we've got lots of options. I would treat this as a doll that came with two fashion packs. The fashion packs, if it's a double, will generally run about 15. The furniture pack, we could say this is equivalent to the, um, to the living room furniture set, which was about 10. So right there, you're at 25. That puts the doll at a $5 doll, um, but it's great. So overall, this is a great value for the price. I love the doll, even adding in the cost of the Made to Move doll. It's still a reasonable price on this set for me. Now, entirely up to you. If you want to wait to see if this goes on sale, when I've seen them in stores, I haven't seen that many on the shelves at the time, so I don't know if this is going to be like the hospital sets and the um, ambulances where it just stays and stays and stays on the shelves and never goes on sale. So take that risk if you want, but she's a beautiful doll. She is going to be harder to find in a curvy made to move just because that made to move is hard to find. I mainly find mine secondhand now. So if you're like me and you have to have them all on curvy bodies when they are pretty enough to be curvy, then this is the one that you'd want to go with. It is a perfect match, pretty much. She has a slight, slight undertonal difference, but it is not noticeable when you put the doll on the new body. So 
if you love a good curvy doll, this is a great pack to pick up because you get fashions and you get shoes for curvy, not to mention you get a great face for a doll that we don't see too terribly often. And you get probably the best doll form that uh, Mattel has done in a while. Let me just show you the difference. So we've got this one, which is a reasonably higher uh, like size. We've also got this doll form, this dress form that I have, which is blue. This came with one of the uh, designer packs that you would design your own dress with the, the decals and things. But again, the bottom of this is just a base. The only nice thing about this compared to the others is the back, but it does not have any of the detailing like this one does. Ideally, I would love to see this done at this height with a full piece of plastic around it. If this was the mold that they went with from now on, I'd be okay with it because it is really pretty. The back on this does make it easier to get clothes on and off because you can grip in those spaces. Um, I do wish it was slightly taller just to make it more of a actual doll height because you're gonna run into issues like you would if it was this dress where the train is just gonna be just on the floor fully. But it is still my favorite of the new doll mannequins or dress forms, whichever you want to call them. So if you guys have questions on this set, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Bye y'all. Be good.